So it's still pretty wet today, raining here and there, but it's not flogging down like it has been for the past few days. So I've been able to get out and I'm doing the stuff that I should have done about three days ago. So this is the Robinson's Place shopping centre in Manila. It's right by the, uh, the boardwalk or the bay walk, which I'm about to head down to after I eat. I think you might forgive me for not having a swim on this one. It's the Dolomite Beach right beside Metropolitan Manila. I said in a previous video, but apparently this was the 16th tropical storm this year in the Philippines, and it was the 4th in October. So um, they've had a, a bad run of it, and those people living on the street that I've just walked past must have had a really, really horrible night because it was a, it was a rough night. I mean, any time it rains, I suppose it's not going to be nice, but it was a bit of a rough night, it's got to be said. All right. So we're here in Rizzle Park right now, right by the Rizzle monument we've made some friends there um, yeah, this one is a I can't get my hands to do the right thing there we go he's a Filipino tour guide and some some Canadians and Chinese so it's just started raining again but just gonna have to persevere and keep going because this is possibly my last day in Manila all going well I might have a visa for Thailand tomorrow and then I'm, once I get my passport back, I can move hotel and, and travel around a little bit. Not much time, but hoping to go to Angeles City. Um, or at least that's how we pronounce it. I was talking to someone that is from there and they were calling it Angeles. So this is a lovely park right in the middle of the city here. Not a million miles from Intramuros and Chinatown and that. Um, just got talking to some nice people there that are also trying to make videos and stuff for Instagram, YouTube. One of the things I've noticed here is that um, the men, when they're speaking English, tend to have a really strong sort of Indian accent, whereas the ladies, when they're speaking English, talk with sort of a Latina, sort of like South American kind of accent. Quite sexy, actually. So I thought I'd make a bit more of an effort today and put on a, a T-shirt with sleeves. Sweating like a beast. Big cut on my head. I'm not even sure how I did that. But that's why I've not got the hat on today. Back to the old bald head. This is some sort of, it's supposed to be mango, not any mango I've eaten, it tastes like apple. No, more. It's apple. Mm. That's sour apple, that. Not a really sour Granny Smith. Um, I was going to talk, but I'm eating now. One of the things I really like about cities is how quickly the scenery can change. I say this. I say it all the time, to be honest, when I'm in cities. But um, it's the same in London. My mate lives just off Baker Street. And when you walk on his street, I mean, you can be on Baker Street in 15, 20 seconds from his house. Or, well, 30 seconds, let's say. And you wouldn't think it. You'd think he lived in, in a really quiet neighborhood. Likewise, here, we're in this park in the middle of the city. It was only... A minute ago we were being followed by homeless kids and people trying to sell us stuff and that quite not aggressively but not not letting up fairly aggressively but not angrily let's go see this water So this is another thing I've noticed um, since I've been here, although this is just one example, but there's loads of Halloween stuff all over the place. They seem to embrace the Western holidays more. It's October the 30th right now, and there's already Christmas decorations and Christmas music all over the place. A bit too early in my opinion, but it does make a, a change because in Thailand, Christmas isn't really that big of a deal and, and Halloween barely gets a look in. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Obviously, every country's entitled to have its own traditions and stuff. Um, I'm just making an observation. Hey, look at these cool pigeon houses. I 
I wonder how they work in terms of, I don't know much about the, the lives of pigeons. I know they travel a lot, but would each one have a leader maybe, like an alpha of each house that runs it and they all know who the boss is? Anyone know anything about birds?